So I say good morning to all of you and welcome to Prayer and Empowerment Global Ministries, where we are revolutionizing the world through the power of prayer and the spoken word. I am so excited that you all are joining us in this journey, these 30 days of Thanksgiving, where we ask God for nothing and we thank him for everything. Yes, everything we could imagine. We just say thank you, Lord. And we're just not rising up early to say that I was on the line and I listened in, but we are participating in the challenge. And that challenge is to intentionally thank God for all he has done. And we're so intentional that we rise up and we get a thankfulness journal and we begin to write in that journal every single day. I'm telling you, by the end of this challenge, you're gonna be so glad that you did because when the storms of life come, you'll be able to reminisce and look back on this time and say, wow, God has been so good to me. In spite of all that I have been through, when I look back on my life, God has been so very good to me. And I thank him and I give God glory and I give God all of the honor and the praise in advance for meeting us again today. Amen. It is been the goodness of God that we're still here and that we're still standing and we give God praise. Aren't you glad and aren't you thankful for the conference of the Lord? Aren't you thankful for his counsel? Are you thankful for it? Because I believe that when we become thankful for God's counsel and that when we acknowledge him in all of our ways, he really truly directs our paths that guides us into his power that guides us into his promise his provision and his purpose and for this i say thank you can everybody just open up your mouth and just begin to say thank you remember we said this time we're not going to do those inward prayers we're going to be verbal with this thanksgiving and we're going to open up our mouths wide and we're going to say lord we thank you lord we magnify your name yes Yes, let's do this now. Let's do this now. Let's open up our mouths and on purpose. Thank God for all of his goodness that he has done. And if you have not shared this with somebody, a friend, family member, co-worker, I would love for you to do that now because I believe everybody everywhere needs prayer. This is Pastor Arlene, the visionary of this ministry. And I'm very glad that you have decided to join us on this journey. This challenge is all about you cultivating a grateful heart, cultivating a mindset of being thankful. The Bible says, in everything, give him thanks, for this is his will concerning you, Arlene. This is his will concerning you, Tisa. This is God's will concerning you, Dr. and Denise. I'm so glad that you all understand that God loves you and he loves you unconditionally. Can I just share the scripture with you that I read this morning that blessed me? And it is Isaiah 61 one through three. I just want to share this verse, this passage with you. That's Isaiah 61, one through three. Those of you that have your Bibles out, you can read along with me. I'll be reading from the New Living Translation that says, the spirit of the sovereign Lord is upon me, for the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to comfort the brokenhearted and to proclaim the captives will be released and prisoners will be freed. He has sent me to tell those who mourn that the time of the Lord's favor has come and with it, the day of God's anger against their enemies. To all who mourn in Israel, he will give a crown of beauty for ashes, a joyous blessing instead of mourning, festive praise instead of despair and their righteousness they will be like great oaks that the Lord has planted for his own glory. And today I'm thankful that God is planting us for as great oaks, yes, to be planted for his own glory. I am thankful that he's sending comfort to the brokenhearted this morning. I am thankful he is freeing all of us that feel that we have been in a prison. I believe God, and I'm thanking him for giving us beauty for ashes. This is the word of the Lord for you this morning. And I pray that you are empowered and that you are thankful and that you are grateful. Amen. 
We're so very grateful for this journey and for all of you that have been joining us. We are so very grateful that you are here. And this morning, we have another intercessor that will be joining us. We have intercessors joining us from different churches. We have men, we have females, we have evangelists, pastors, laymen. We are so grateful excited that people are um, wanting to participate in this challenge. And this morning, we have our sister Tanisha Hines that's going to be leading us in our thankfulness prayer this morning. Those of you that don't have your journals out, get your journals out, get your Bibles out, and just join in with this time of Thanksgiving. Our sister Tanisha is in your hands. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. I thank you for this opportunity, um, Pastor Mitchell. And um, I just wanted to say that um, I'm just so very thankful for all the things that God is doing for us through this 30 day of challenge of rising early and just giving. God, thanks. I have a song on my heart, and I'm just going to give you a verse and pray and be out your way. Um, But through all the things that we're going through right now, I just feel this song is a little fitting. Tragedies are commonplace, all kinds of diseases. People are slipping away. Economy down. People can't get enough pay. But you've been my protection every step of the way. And I want to say thank you, Lord, for all you've done for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Folks without home, living all in the street, and the drug habits, some say, they just can't be Mothers and robbers, no place seemed to be safe, but you've been my protection every step of the way. And I want to say thank you, Lord, for all you've done for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It could have been me outdoors. With no food and no clothes, all left alone, yes, God, without a friend or just another number with a tragic end, yes, God, but you didn't see fit to let none of these things be, and every day by your power. You keep on, you keep on keeping me. So I want to say thank you, Lord, for all you've done for me. Yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Father God, I thank you for being mighty. We thank you for being awesome. We thank you for being a loving God who loves us beyond all our thoughts. We thank you, God, for being our corrector, a God that corrects us when we're wrong and when we're not doing right. We thank you for forgiving us for our sins. We thank you for giving us your son Jesus to die on the cross for us. We thank you for creating in us a clean heart and renewing a right spirit within us. We just came with thankful hearts this morning. We don't want to ask you for nothing, but our mouths and our minds and our hearts and our spirits is filled, God, 
with nothing but thanksgiving. We thank you for being Jehovah Jireh in our life, God. We thank you for being a provider. We thank you for providing everything that we need, God. We thank you for always making a way, even though sometimes we may feel as though we might not have the things that we want. But, God, we thank you for being a provider, for always supplying our needs. We thank you, God, for being Jehovah Shalom. We thank you for being our peace today, God, in such a world that gives us so such traumatic situation. But, God, you are our peace. You give us the peace that passes to all that passes all understanding, that people just don't understand how we're making it, that people don't understand that how we're still in our right minds and that how we can still function because it is you, God, because you are being our peace. We thank you for being Jehovah Rapha, God, the God that heals. God, so many people are going through sickness and diseases from COVID-19 and COVID brain, but God, there are many of us who made it through that, and we thank you for healing us. We thank you for healing the, the people that are suffering from cancer. We thank you in advance for the manifestation through of the healing of their bodies, God. We thank you for um, that you sent your son that. You said that every strike that he took, he, that we were healed, and we thank you for the healing. We thank you for the healing. We thank you for the healing. Your word says that for us to rejoice always, to pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances. God, we give you thanks in everything. God, we thank you because even through the tests and the trials, without a test, God, there is no testimony. We thank you for the things that you have allowed us. We thank you for the things that you have allowed us to go through that we were um, either chastened or changed, or set free, or we learn to move on so that we can um, um, be a witness to others of what you can do and how you can turn things around. Even through the bad times, we thank you, God, because you said in your word that all things, all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord. And, God, we just thank you for all that you have done for us. If we had 10,000 tongues, we couldn't thank you enough. We just thank you, God, for your love and kindness. We thank you, God, for our families. We thank you, God, for covering us, our families covering them. We thank you, God, for how you're um, keeping, keeping our families safe. We thank you for our leaders. God, I thank you for... My pastor, Arlene Mitchell, I thank you, God, for the divine, into, I don't want to say intervention, but the, the, the divine impact and the divine um, way that you made for us to link and to be together. And, God, I thank you for um, me allowing to have an open heart for her to be the shepherd over my soul. God, I thank you for raising her up. Because, God, I remember meeting her many, many, many years ago. And, God, I just thank you for how you have elevated her and continually elevating her into um, your full purpose and into her destiny. So, God, I just thank you. Continue to keep her in your grace. Continue to edify her. Continue to lead her. Give her new sight. Give her new vision. and new um, opportunities, new doors. Um, We thank you for the doors opening up in her coaching business. We thank you for the doors opening up for the prayer academy. We thank you for the doors opening up for PEGM, More Eye Champions. We thank you for the men that's coming. We thank you for the men of integrity. We thank you for the men who wants to be fathers. We thank you for the men who wants to be leaders. We thank you, God, for the men. Yes, Lord Jesus. And, God, I thank you again for this opportunity. And and thank you for all that you're allowing to, 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 to come about in my life. 
In your son Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you so very much, Tanisha, for that heartfelt prayer and for praying for me and the ministry. I appreciate your sensitivity to putting the issues of the ministry and just calling forth our progression. Thank you so very much. We bless God for you. Um, it is my delight to serve you in the capacity of leadership, and I thank you, God, for doing that. And I thank God for every one of you that's on the line today. I thank you for um, wanting more of God, enough to rise early to be in his presence. And may I continue to bless God for you and your households and your children. And I say thank you, Lord, for giving them new strength and stamina to be all that you have called them to be. I thank you, Father, that they're no longer living in fear, but they are using every gift that you have given them. They're not allowing any gift to lay dormant. We thank you, Father, that the windows of heaven are opened over their life and you're pouring out blessings that they do not have room enough to receive. God, I thank you for rebuking the devourer. Hallelujah. And then over their lives by the power of the name of Jesus. I speak and I thank God in advance for the prosperity of the saints of God. I thank you that they are hungering and thirsting after you, after the things of God more than the things of man. God, I'm saying thank you, God. Send your angels Send your angels, God, and prosper their way in the spiritual things, God. I thank you, Lord. I thank you for multiplying them, God, and multiplying your grace over their life, multiplying your mercy over their life. God, I say thank you. Hallelujah. I thank you in the name of Jesus that you are allowing them to walk in authority and the power that you have ordained for their lives. I say thank you. I pray, Father, that you let them prosper like Joseph did. I thank you, Lord, that you're letting them prosper like Abraham did. God, I say thank you that they're women and men of God that understand the word and every promise that's in the word. God, I say thank you that you are blessing them for giving unto the house of God. You are blessing them for being people that give of their time and their sacrifices. God, I say thank you. I say thank you, God, for anointing them now from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet. And I thank you, Lord, that you are healing them from inner hurt. You are healing them from inner hurt. I say thank you, Father, that this time of Thanksgiving will bring about an inner healing. Anybody that needs it, just open up your mouth and say, God, I thank you for my inner healing. I thank you for my inner healing, things that I've been trying to let go of. I just haven't had the, the wherewithal to do it. God, I'm thanking you as I'm rising early to meet you. You said I would find you. God, I need to find you in the area of my heart being healed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God, I thank you that there are blossoming like fig trees in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, God, I thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you for healing on the inside out in the name of Jesus. We're thanking you, Father, that they're planted like a tree. Hallelujah. Not to be moved and tossed to and fro by the devices of the enemy. And I rebuke prayerlessness over them. They're not women of God and men of God that are not praying, but they're praying in the morning and they're praying in the afternoon and they're praying in midnight. They're praying. They are praying without ceasing as your word has commanded us to, to pray without stopping. And I say, thank you, Lord, that we have a praying spirit. Somebody open up your mouth and make that declaration. God, I thank you that you are giving me a praying heart. I thank you that prayer is my lifestyle. I thank you, Father. I thank you that I understand the worth and the value of prayer. This is my assignment to you. This is my life's assignment to remind you of how communi communing with God is necessary for your success in life. It is necessary for your productivity. It is necessary for your elevation. It is necessary for your parenthood. Yes, it is necessary for your leadership ability. It is necessary in all walks of life. Your prayer life is essential 
It is vital to your survival. Do you hear me? Your prayer life is vital to your survival. And those of you that are being elevated, be it natural on the spiritual, you need to rise early to meet God because that's where you get the AM advantage. And that's where you can be open and transparent about where you are with him. I pray by the power of the name of Jesus that there is a longing to please God more than men. If you know that's you, just go ahead and open up, up your mouth and just say, God, I thank you for allowing my heart to want to please you more than it wants to please men. God, hallelujah. God, I thank you that we're walking into understanding who we are in you and we're no longer comparing ourselves to each other. Ah, that's where we go wrong, Latasha. That's where we go wrong, Majita, when we compare ourselves to other people's success and their marriages and their families. God, we say thank you that we're rising above the spirit of comparison. If that's you, just open up your mouth and say, God, I thank you for helping me in that area that I'm rising above. I'm rising above that in the name of Jesus. And I thank you that I'm embracing new disciplines, new spiritual disciplines that it's not a problem for me to rise early to be in God's presence. Go ahead and make that declaration. God, I thank you that rising early is not a problem for me because God, you've been that good. Oh, turning down my plate a couple of days is not a problem for me. God, I thank you that it's not a problem for me. I believe, Tina, when you start speaking like that, when you start putting that in the atmosphere, Arlene, something begins to happen to your dedication. Something begins to happen. Remember, life and death is in the power of your tongue, people of God. I'm going to keep on saying that until the day I die. Every time I speak, creation is occurring. So I'm speaking that I do have the spiritual discipline that it, that I need to be more productive in the things of God. I want to win souls for Christ. That means I got to dig deeper in the word of God. That's what I'm going to do. That means, God, I thank you for the discipline to sit down and read and study the word of God. Then, God, I say thank you, Lord, for giving me that discipline. Yes, God, I thank you for giving me the discipline to pause and to pray every single day. For those that are in leadership, because that's what the Bible teaches us to do, to pray for those that have ruled over us. And, Father, we say thank you. We say thank you, we love you, and we bless you, and we give you glory, and we give you honor, and we give you praise. Teach us how to love. Oh, God, this is it. God, I thank you for teaching us how to love you better. You love us unconditionally. Aren't you glad about it, Sherelle? He loves us unconditionally, even when we don't come to him, when we are so busy doing everything else but seeking him. He still loves us just the same, Elder, and I'm so very glad about it. Father, we thank you. Thank you, God, for endearing my heart to you the more. As the deer panteth for the water, so my soul longeth after thee. You alone are my heart's desire. And I worship you, Lord, for this. And I pray and I'm thanking God in advance for doing it for you. I'm thanking God in advance that you are going to be better disciplinarian when it comes to your spiritual development. I'm thanking God in advance. I'm thanking God that during this time of Thanksgiving that your family relationships are becoming better because of a thankful heart. Yes? And you start thanking God for all of the promises that God has given you. I'm telling you, God will transform your life. So, Father, we thank you for everyone that's on here. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know. I don't know. God didn't reveal it to me, but I'm praying today that God will heal you everywhere you heard and that he would answer your prayer. And I come in agreement with you that everything that you have on the altar, that's God's will and his timing for your life, that it be done immediately. Yes, I come in agreement with you, intercessor. I come in agreement with you, elder. I come in agreement with you, my sister, my brother, and those of you that will listen to YouTube. To, to listen to us now, I'm talking to you too. I come in agreement with you. Anything that you have on the altar that's according to God's will for your life, I'm coming in agreement. We understand that there's power in agreement. Two touching and agreeing on a thing, it shall be done. And I believe God, Denise, that is happening. I believe God, Nicole, that is happening. I believe God. I believe God, and I'm so excited about it. 
Hallelujah. And I give God the glory. I give God the honor. And I give God the praise. It is in Jesus' name I pray. I say amen, amen, and amen. Again, I can't thank you enough for joining this challenge. I'm going to ask you to please tell at least one person about the challenge and have them join us. Can you just tell one person for me and have them join this challenge and help me with my life's assignment? I'm here. God kept me alive for this. Amen. I believe that God kept me alive just to do this, to empower you to pray. Yes, I believe God. Because we say here, much prayer, you say much power. Little prayer, little power. No prayer no power. So may you be empowered to pray. If this time has been a blessing to you, we're asking all of you that are supporting us to just sow a seed of a dollar a day for this 30 days of Thanksgiving. That'll be $30 seed. And however the Lord blesses you to give, if you don't have the $30, whatever he gives blesses you, you can give us $3. You can give us 13, 23, however you see fit. We thank God in advance for your gifts. Some of you have already given us the $30 in advance, and we say thank you for giving and supporting this work that is truly given by God. We say thank you. Thank you, every one of you. Thank you, every one of you. Have a blessed Sunday. Um, and I look forward to meeting you on the line tomorrow morning as we continue this time of challenge. Amen, amen, and amen. God bless you.